Embiid skipping out on Denver again. <laughs> now I like Joel. I love Doug, Embiid, man. Doug, but this goof. is starting to this is starting to look a little fishy to me, man. So you know, I, 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 I hey, seen, but he sat out the next game though. So I did. seen a meme. Oh. I seen a meme on the internet where they like clearly he ducked them. Then now he has to justify the ducking by sitting out another game. And then now right. that's probably going to cost him the MVP because of the 65 right, right, right. games, right, um, new rule. And it's just funny. It's almost like, you know, if you've ever been playing video games with your brother or your cousin or your homeboy and you win and he's like, run it back. And it's like, no, <laughs> I'm going out on a high note. We're not running this back. I bust your right. ass. You, you're right. done. You don't get to. Right. No, 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 no. No back seats. It's not happening. It's hey, almost Wasp, like this is hey. what's happening with MB. The time where I was about to beat my dad for the first time, like I've been trying to beat my dad. I was like 13. And I could tell he realized I was about to get him because I had crossovers in. My jump was going. So he started playing bully ball, posting me up. So it was like game point. I had the ball. Yo, he fouled the hell out of me, <laughs> took the ball, made the yeah. bucket, and walked off with his hand in the air and would never play me again. Would never play me again. I was that was like, it. Uh, that was yo, it. Come on. We got you. Like, he wouldn't. I never nope. played my dad again ever. Nope, That's done. what he did. He's like, nope. <laughs> I, I, this is how we going out. <laughs> and it feels like Embiid is doing a version of this. He's like, yo, I, I got him. Right, so we're right, not, right. we gonna end off on that narrative, <laughs> that part of the narrative. I won. Right, I right, won right. at home. We're not going up to Denver. I'm not dealing with the altitude. I'm not right. gonna deal with the home, <laughs> the, the road fans. I won the last time I saw this guy. That's the narrative. Stamped. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean it's hard to not believe that, right? Like, yeah. but it would be crazier I, if he went out there and tried to play and then pulled himself, right? We'd be right, like, right, oh right. yeah, he wanted to play. This is what right. I'm like he should have went that route. My knee hurt, but exactly. I'm dragging. I'm gonna get run out 20, there like Willis. Get you 20 minutes in and then limp off the court. You know what I'm saying? That, Stare at him a little look, bit. Yeah, that's what people are crying about, though, right? It's like, oh, he wasn't in the injury report. He suited up, right? And then was like, ah. The medical staff, the, the guy said, I don't look like I'm good to go. I yeah, can't for, do it. For four you know? straight and years? they didn't even give us the obligatory. <laughs> they didn't give us the obligatory, like, look, guys, if this was the playoffs, Joel would have went today. Right, right, right. You know, right. they just really tried hey, to be like, no, he's really hurt, y'all. What makes this so wild is that before the season, Dion literally called him out to his face right? about this. Like, literally yeah. was like, right. yo, I want to see you match up against him. Like, you right? can't miss the court now. This is Dion <laughs> calling you out. You cannot miss this game. You right? know what I'm saying? This you is circle like, this you, one. You, you got to do it. Just on, strip, just on the strip of everybody everybody coming at me like I'm ducking. I can't even right. look like I'm ducking now. And, and, and that's how crazy we look. Thing. Like, it ain't like, I mean, Jokic might have outscored him. It ain't like Jokic was going to kick his ass. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, like, like yeah. he might have gotten outscored 25 to 17 or something like that. You know, but right. the big fail is with Embiid is like, this is as great as he is, right? We would never even think this about Jokic. Like, we wouldn't no. even, no. you know what no. I'm saying? Like, You're right. we wouldn't no. even, it wouldn't cross our minds if no. he didn't play. Like, no. if I'm a big, that's how I want to be. I want you to be like, oh, hey. Yo, it's like, like you that. know I'm coming and, yes. and and I'm going at people, period, right. no matter what. It, it, it like And it's and it's not opponent dependent. I think that's kind of one of the great things about Jokic. It's just like, I have an approach to win. My approach is to win. When I'm playing Embiid, when I'm playing AD, when I'm playing whoever, I, I'm trying yeah, to win. Looney, it don't matter. Yeah, it don't win, matter. Right? Like the, the, the right. point of the game is to win. I'm not gonna get caught up into this. Watch my team win, though. And I think that would have been the challenge for Joel to go up there. Everybody knows the challenges with the altitude and stuff like that. But yeah, yeah, I, I, I like I was of a mind. I, I, I don't really tend to like to go with the online sort of mob mentality of, oh, he's being a wuss. He's ducking the real MVP, blah, blah, yeah, blah, yeah, blah, yeah. blah. And, right. but then, you know, the more you really sit and think about it, it's like, this is part of the problem that I feel. And again, I'm, I'm somebody who is, has a big belief in a new crop of stars. I think these guys are charismatic, super talented, yeah. Yeah. Uh, very interesting guys. I think they're compelling dudes. They're going to carry the league into the future, but this is part of it to me where it's just like, just recognize the moment, man, 
just meet the moment sometimes. Right. Like, I understand right. logically. It's like, oh, this is just one of 82 and blah, blah, right, blah, blah, right, blah. Right. And I'm ultimately going to be judged in the playoffs and whatever. But recognize the moment, man. Understand the narrative that follows you every single day, every single postseason, and right. meet the moment. Like, like, what's so hard about that? I would, I would have, I'd be hard pressed. I'm not going to say because I can't remember, but I'd be hard pressed to remember a game where Magic and Bird didn't play against each other. You know what I'm saying? Like that just like in the regular season. I, maybe one of them was hurt one year and they didn't play, but they would. You got to suit up for that game. You know what I'm saying? Like that's, like that's just. Who else are you comparing? I feel like, I feel like the new generation. You know what I mean? Like that though. Like to Waz's point, I think like. My aunt Edwards is suiting up, bro. Like he's trying to play. Like Shay, yeah. them dudes is yes. playing. Like I do feel like yes. the new generation is yes, like guys. No, no, absolutely. Go, yeah. Yes. It's not yeah, it's not Aunt universal. Edwards is a sped. That's why I think people just gravitate towards the guy and he's sort of like a, a charisma bomb. Because early in the season, they played Boston and they won. And it was like one of the early indicators that these guys were a serious team. And Aunt Edwards specifically. He wanted to talk about how him and Jaden McDaniels ended up on switches on an island against Tatum, against Brown, and they held up. They get they got tie ups, they got loose right. balls. They did like right. he wanted to talk specifically like that individual challenge against Tatum, this all star, this guy that basically plays my position, this guy that you know a team type of team that we're chasing. I want y'all to know that I take that personally. Yeah. Right, and I was like, man, Ant Edwards is different. A lot of guys wouldn't have mentioned that. They would have just been like, oh, it's a great team win. Although Ant Edwards was like, no, I understand that people view me in the context of those kind of guys. Yeah. And I want to show that I'm thinking about that and I'm meeting that moment. Yeah. And so, you know, to see Joel do the opposite of that is is a little, you know, it's discouraging. Hey, 